What's up guys, my name is Levi and I'm from Shred Shop in Cochrane, Alberta. We're gonna teach you everything you need to know about how to get a skate park built in your town so you can learn how to skate, how you can rip hard, and how you can get girls. We're gonna cover how to do your research, how to build your team to get your skate park made, how to build your community and pour back into the community, how to fundraise, how to do your design of the skate park, tons of stuff. First thing, how to do your research. First thing you need to ask yourself, does your town actually need a park? Is there a place for youth and young people to go? Is there a place for youth in your town to be active and do all those sorts of things? Is there a skateboard community? Do you need to build a skateboard community? All these sorts of things need to be considered as you're moving forward with does my town need a park? A thing to consider is what size of park does your town need? If you have a small town, you don't need a massive park and vice versa. If you're a big city, you need maybe multiple smaller parks or one big park. One thing to look up is in your area, who are the skate park builders? What are the names of their brands? Look them up, find the companies, search them online, find the contact info and reach out to them. A lot of times they can help you get the ball rolling, giving you information or steps to do because they've done this dozens and hundreds of times. Next step, you need to build your team. When building your team, you can't just grab your friends. You need to find people that are passionate about seeing a skate park happen. A lot of times this can take a few years from conception all the way to it actually being built. So find people that are on board for longevity. Another key thing is to make your team diverse. It doesn't help to have a bunch of yous on your team. You wanna have people that have different skill sets and different points of view to come to the table. So your mom, you, your local shop owner, uh, people who work for the city, people who work at the grocery store, the bank, it doesn't matter, but make sure it's diverse enough that you can actually get things done with a bunch of people in different skill sets. You wanna get charity status. So this one is a big thing, but once you get over this hurdle, things can start to roll. It's a lot of paperwork, but fill it out and make it happen. Then you want to open up a bank account with that charity status, but have two people on signing protection in order to avoid fraud so people aren't stealing your money. One of the best ways to see your vision start to gain momentum is by making your voice and your face known. When you attend local town meetings and local community events that are around that are prominent in that way, when you write letters to your no local newspaper, you have to get the word out that you're trying to get the ball rolling and people can then find out and get on board. In order to gain momentum, you want to contact your local town council, you want to show up to town meetings and get the word out. Contact your local newspaper and start moving. You need to start some fundraising tactics. One of the ways to get your community involved is a bottle drive. You can go door to door asking for bottles. After you reach out and talk to the local skate park builders in your area, you want to find out what sort of grants can you be applying for and working towards in order to get some funding going so you can gain momentum financially. This is a great way to get the word out and get your money flowing. You want to put together a corporate sponsorship package. A lot of corporations and businesses are looking for charities to give to in order to get tax breaks at the end of the year. So they just need to know where to put their money. You are where they put their money. Next, you're on to designing and build. You need to choose a location with the town. Make sure you're considering everything from bathrooms to wind to floodplains to sound and noise. They're gonna consider a lot of this stuff, but they're looking at it from their perspective. Make sure you're looking out for the skateboard and the youth community. Some people, when they get into the designing phase, get really excited and they create these obscure grand obstacles. But one of the things that we have noticed across many parks is stick to the basics. Don't forget a mani pad, a flat bar, a flat box, a small set of stairs, having things that progress from small to medium to large so that kids who are learning to stand on a board can learn as well that people that are progressing can get better and better. I know it seems crazy now to think of the weather, but you have to think about wind. Do you want to plant trees? Do you want to get them in the areas? You want to think about water fountains and bathrooms and lights. Lights are a big, massive one, especially where we're at in the world. It gets dark in the winter time around 5.30. A key thing, stand firm on this, avoid temporary skate parks. To the town, they might look like a great band-aid to put over this thing, but honestly, it will be more of a hurdle than a help because it's worth to hold out for the long run. Build your community. Sweet, you've got your park. The journey is not over. Prove to the town why having a skate park, being a skateboarder is a great way for youth to spend their time. Skate schools, fundraisers, skate-a-thons, skate competitions, anything, any ways to give back and to build healthy community is the best. Note that there is a stigma around skateboarding that they're rough 
people. We want to break that and work against that. Keep your park clean. Ask for garbage cans if you don't have any. While you're doing events, get your local skate shop, get your local community involved. Keep the city involved and keep working towards how you can build back into skateboarding and getting youth on skateboarders, especially opposed to hockey sticks. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This was Levi, and this is everything you needed to know about how to get a skate park in your town or area. Make sure you guys hit the link below. There's going to be tons more info, different skate park builders, different breakdowns of some of the sub points that we hit so that you can know everything you need to know about how to move forward.